Because I swear that was like around in like the 50s. Yeah, old theater stuff. Jesus Christ. I see that out of the corner of my eye and I'm just like, ugh. Ugh, moving things. <laughs> huh, that's different. Yeah, I'll be honest, I didn't expect it to actually let me go up here, but I'm I'm glad it's letting me explore. Man! Sure is a lot of stuff out there. What the Oh, it just locked onto it from really far away, okay. Alright. On call room. I'm gonna I'm looking through this entire thing while I have the chance. Okay, so this is where we were. Oh, he's this is apparently where we're supposed to go? No. But Fuyuhiko's here! He said the lobby. Let's check the other room. That's the plan. Check in everywhere. Oh, he- Wait! Excuse me! He has his eye back! <laughs> hmm, this room is- There's a lot of chairs and desks here. It's sort of like a conference room. Well, to be fair, it's not like they ever actually changed their overworld sprites. It's just No, they it. did! His overworld sprite they is did. different. What you come here for? Goods were delivered to the lobby, remember? I'm looking <laughs> for... Why are you talking, us? I'm looking for Mexicumas. <laughs> yeah, like, hang on. But yeah, like, give me a second. Are you trying to find where they are, or what? No, like, I want to see if... Am I going crazy, or...? No, he has them. He has an eye patch. Yeah, no! His, his sprite does change! He just didn't tap it in there for some reason! Wait a minute, is that under the... Under the what? Never mind. Go back oh, in. No, that's fine. But check in one more time, just to make sure. Not yank, make sure. No, it's not here. What are you trying to say? Under the bed? I assume mm -hmm. that's what he meant, and it was not there. Can't go in there. It's not just in the window area with all those moving monokumas, is it? Jeez, that's creepy. I think there were, we already found one like that uh, before. We found one uh, it's in the ghost area, didn't we? Yeah, I believe so. He, he was literally a ghost. Oh, that's a, was that vibrating? It's an MRI. I think it might just, it might just be, oh, no, it literally is doing that. I, I was going to say, I, th I thought maybe it was just glitching from the camera, but okay. Heaven! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Let's check all the rooms. STOP STALKING ME! <laughs> Open room. Shouldn't be anybody inside. Alright, the other two then. Oh, hey, there's Akane's. Oh, we can actually go in. Oh. Is she out of bed? She has a bathrobe on. She has a oh. BANANA PLANT! Why? Mm -hmm. Call her a monkey, I guess. I'm scared. I don't want to be in the hospital. Oh my god! It's gonna be okay. You don't have to worry. We Hiko and I are here, so don't cry. Stop, stop. I've never seen a Kane cry like that. I don't really know what to do. Kiss her. Kiss her, you fool. No! I understand that you're worried, but there's nothing we can do here. Goods were delivered to the lobby. Let's hurry up and go. Oh. We, Talk to you, we get there when we get there. Okay, Mr. Regrettable. That was one we were just in, though. No, I thought. Yeah, this is not. not this the, is uh, Nagito's. Uh, no, room. we would. We were just in here, though. Yeah, like, not Nagito. So yeah. We all, I already looked around in here. <laughs> he is everywhere. Well, he wasn't everywhere. He was somewhere. Just not everywhere. All right. Before I talk to Ibuki, you can just visit and see how I'm doing. 
Thank you very, so very much for your courtesy. Oh, is it okay for you to be awake? You should be resting and dead. Understood. Thank you very much for your consideration. I shall heed your kind attitude and take over. I, I saluted. I don't know why I saluted. <laughs> Compared to Nagito, Ibuki seems fine. Are there individual differences in symptoms too? I mean, yeah, all. Oh, I, I, oh, 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 like uh, in terms of like the fact that Nagito stopped breathing. Jesus Christ, Fuyahiko! <laughs> Fine, I'll talk to you. Fine, I'll go to, the, I'll go to the fucking lobby. But not because you told us to. <laughs> It's because we went everywhere else already. Fuyuhiko, what did you mean when you said goods? I... Why is that shit blinking? Recording. Look on top of the reception desk. Top of the reception desk? They're kind of blocking it, so... It's the stuff that's blinking. I know, I'm looking for Mon I'm looking for Mexicubas! Okay, yeah, that's fair. Fuyuhiko was talking about this, right? Looks like a monitor and camera unit. What is this? Perfect timing. The blue light is blinking. Does something happen when this blinks? Seeing is believing, as they say. Try pressing the button just below that light. Just have to press the button? I did what Fuyuhiko said and pressed the button. Does he keep sounding like he's underwater briefly to you? Hey, is this Hajime? Loud and clear. Looks like it's perfectly connected. Kazuichi? And this is... Yeah, that's right. That's the way to communicate he was talking about. Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. How about it? This is what I've been working on. Remember that alley with all those shady looking street booths? That's where I found this. It's a surveillance. What? Nothing. It's a it's surveillance. Yeah, it was where we found the, the laptop. Ah. It's a surveillance camera for household use, and I just tweaked it a little. So now it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pretty hit or miss. Video chat, huh? It's true. You don't have to worry about getting infected with this. So it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other with this from now on, okay? This was only a test run this time, so I guess it should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later. Why are his words in quotes? I To show that he's talking through a screen? Kazuichi left this while you were resting. The surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor for surveillance. Anything the surveillance camera records is surveillance broadcast live on the surveillance monitor. So we prepared two of these surveillance sets and swapped each of their surveillance cameras. Surveillance, 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 surveillance. I see. By swapping the surveillance cameras, his surveillance monitor will display what's on my surveillance camera and vice surve surveillance versa. Apparently, he also modif <laughs> modify a little. He widened its narrow surveillance communication range beyond just surveillance household use. But even so, he still had a surveillance limit, so apparently, the surveillance signal can't reach from the hospital to the surveillance motel. <laughs> Do you want me to stop? <laughs> yes, please. Then we can't communicate between the hospital and the uh, motel. Were you about to slip up? You didn't notice? He was contacting you just now from the music venue near the hotel. And there, the signal reaches into the hospital with no problems. They're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need to? Oh, I thought yeah. the same thing. So we arranged, arranged times for us to contact each other. Set up for us to communicate 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning and evening announcements. My next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. He's well prepared. As expected of the air in an, of an enormous organization. That's probably destroyed by now. Mm -hmm. What is it? Nothing. Ding dong bing bong. Ding da dong da bing da oh. bong. Ding da da dong da bing da bing bong. Wait, question. Does, does that mean the hotel rooms count? Uh, sorry. Hospital rooms count as the... Uh... I don't think the, if, if you're going what I think you're thinking, I don't think that the whole, uh, sleeping rule is there this time around. 
Okay. Yeah, there's nothing about, like, sleeping, so I assume this time around you can sleep anywhere, really. So you can sleep on that couch? Probably, yeah. It's that time already, huh? Oh, damn, where should I sleep tonight? You plan to use the on-call room with a certain someone again? Like I said, it's not what it looked like. Hey, hey, aren't you misunderstanding? The hospital is a facility for sick people, so it's not for lodgings and young romantic trysts, you know. You too? What are you talking about? Oh, I see. Your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. Well, didn't we try looking at that one point? We tried! Come on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on there, right? A notice on the bulletin board? It's more likely than you think. Okay, now we can look at it? The bulletin board notice. Is he talking about this? Hospital, hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied, overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. It's like the notices you all could see inside hospitals. You can't stay overnight here. There is one patient who needs to be accompanied. Oh, you're talking about Nagito, right? Then I'll allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Hospital precautions, my ass. You should have said so sooner. I left you a fucking note. You did it! Let us so read it! <laughs> Only one person could stay the night. There's no way we can make Mekon leave. Guess we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstances to Mekon, we decide to go back to our cottages for the time being. So, Fuyuhiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I'm a little worried. Uh, the ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? Oh god, I'm getting the worry disease! Eh. Alright, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving Mekon alone. I guess for now I should try to get some sleep. Monokuma Theater! Good evening! It's time for Monokuma's cooking class! Today we're gonna learn how to make... Tayaki! The first thing you'll need in this... A time machine! We will travel back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Seijiro Kanbe. He used to bake and sell turtle-shaped pastries, but unfortunately they never sold all that well. It's important that you gently cheer him up, because he's going to be disappointed in himself when you meet him. From there, get serious and insist that he try making his pastries fish-shaped, because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of a fish. And as a final touch, name these pastries Tayaki. Okay, with this, you've finished making Tayaki. This concludes Monokuma's cooking class. Does anyone ever actually use that? Ding dong, bing bong. Ding dong, bing dong, bing dong, bing dong. Wait, wait, are you talking about, was she, was he talking about that, um, thing that you linked a couple of days ago where that girl was making those balls of dough with something inside them? I don't think that's Tai. I don't think that was Taiyaki, no. I think that was Takoyaki. Yeah, which is different. <laughs> Taiyaki is fish-shaped pastries. Mm. I'm worried about Mekon and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. Our hair was folded up. I'm like, is it, what? <laughs> I missed the whole thing. <laughs> the moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. <laughs> Yo, he came early today. You bastard. You're the one who's early. You bastard. And I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. Want to go to Nagito's room and check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry? Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? 
still. Let's look for Mexicumas. Do you want me to look up where they are? No, I'm uh, like. Oops. Don't, you don't need to look, uh, look it up. I'm fine, like, finding them. It's just, I'm just scanning each room as we go through it. I imagine they'll probably show up when we do the, uh, the actual. Exactly. I'm checking on Ibuki. Murder. Okay, she's not dead. Not murder. Good morning. I am truly honored by you stopping by. Oh, I am doing uh, today as well. Oh, really? As a token of my gratitude, I really want to sing you a song. No E. Cause I'm happy. <laughs> However, this is a hospital, so I must be. If and when I am discharged, permit me to sing to you. Among other things. The old Abuki wouldn't have cared at all and just started singing. I really don't know how to react. It it honestly like annoys me that she has like hypnotized eyes, but like the others are like look normal. They just act different. Makes me think maybe she got something a bit different. Jesus Christ, dude! <laughs> now here's my here's something to ask you. What? Was she singing the whole time, and like Mekon told her to stop? Is that why she said? So I must be quiet. I mean, Mekon probably told her it's a hospital. You need to be quiet. And then I I Ibuki was like, "Okay, zip." The hospital's scary. I'm so scared. How much longer do I have to stay here? Well... How'd you behold me? Is there any cure for this? Monokuma was the one who set this up. That's all the reason we need to cure it. Are you gonna hold her? I'll catch the disease. Besides, she wants Nekamaru. Does she? Probably. Alright, here we go. Okay, he's still in bed. Mikon's still alive. Mikon, how's Nagito doing? Same as usual. No, actually, he might be worse than yesterday. Shit, you fucking serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into critical condition sometime today. Is he that sick? But as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let Nagito die. Ever! I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey, Hajime, it's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. The incoming signal light is blinking. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. I press the button underneath the blinking light and the monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and the monitor had no problem making a connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. Hello? How is it? Can you see my handsome face? That's subjective. Yeah, I can see you real clear. We're good on our end, too. I can totally see your broke-ass faces. It might be best if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? No, we're all here except for Hioko. What happened to Hioko? <laughs> See if we all look like apparent enemies in the eyes of the coward. She has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until the despair disease has been cured. She's even being cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. 
So how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagi is actually in serious danger. I already know he's seriously dangerous! No, not that! He's seriously wandering the border between life and death! What did you say? But he is going to- I'll stop doing that. But he is going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better? Worse Nekamaru than Nagito. That ain't funny at all. All the people with N names. Well, for now, we really can't say. Also, no apostrophe. Can't really say. That's impossible. Monami, where are you on that side? Because it would be dangerous if I got close to the hospital, since I don't even know what's going on. You are really pissing me off. I'm sorry. Like, why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? Please don't discriminate. That spirit disease is horrible. It's a dangerous disease that can even destroy this island. So, until we figure out how to deal with it, I will be on this side. Blip. Blip. Before I really could figure out how to go. Before I could respond to Monami, Fuyuhiko would cut the connection. I don't know why I said Fuyuhiko. That shitty stuffed animal, she seriously pissed me off. Damn it! I'm going outside to cool off. Fuyuhiko practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until someone is murdered. I mean, until the situation improves and changes for the better. Hmm. <sighs> that won't happen. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do, we waited patiently. Surveillance, surveillance, surveillance. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in a hospital? I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the hospital many times. Me kind grew to me a bit. And time just kept passing by. Ding dong, bing bong! A lot of days pass in this chapter. Feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over and now it's nighttime already. Yeah, where was our free time? We can't really Eaten get to, up by I'm, despair disease. Yeah, like everyone either has a despair disease or is scared of interacting with us because we might catch it. I'm pretty sure the only people we could interact with would be Fuyiko or Mikon. And Mikon's probably busy. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's fucking annoying to keep going back and forth, though. But before we go back, can we check on Nagito one more time? Go for it. Leave this transmission thing to me. They're not gonna have a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it. I'll leave it to you. Time to go check on Nagito. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Freaking it girl over there in the hallway. <laughs> no, not what it ring girl. Yeah, I, yeah, I was like it. Excuse me. <laughs> Freaking out. Whoa, Ibuki. What are you doing here? You, you need to be resting. Tell you the truth, I've been getting quite bored. Oh wait, wrong voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I gave her Monami's voice. <laughs> <laughs> To tell you the truth, I've been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Will you hug me? Also, it, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I can get, help you with anything. Like a hug, or that tent problem you had the other day. After you're cured. <laughs> That's better if I am sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you got better soon. Yes, understood. That's kind of scary. Hope she gets better real soon. Why is this hospital always freaking us out with sprites popping up? I don't know. This hospital is like the scariest place in the game. I don't know if I want to go in here! I'm going to, but... Ah, you here for the hug. 
This is your order. I am getting proper rest, so please do not worry. Even though I'm standing right up beside this bed. <laughs> <laughs> He's jumping on the bed. Boingy, okay, boingy, boingy. I was I was scared to turn here because usually every time Fuyi he goes right here. Yeah. Doing the usual. Why is it music like this? Because someone's probably dead. Okay, it's not a Kane. <laughs> it's nighttime again. I'm stuck. I'm so scared. I'm gonna get eaten by ghosts. Uh, Usually she'd be more like I'll beat the crap out of ghosts. Kane acting like this just isn't a Kane. He promised her hugs too, so don't forget that. Again, after the cure. I'm not going to go into the ruins. I'm just taking a look around up here. Just in case, maybe I missed. Why something. can't we find Monokuma? I am there supposed to be like two others. There are two more. I I feel like it's going to be when the investigation starts, but I'm just still trying to be careful about it. Maybe. Okay, there's Nagito. There's Mikon. All right, no one's dead so far. Mikon's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikon? Hey, Mikon. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned toward me as she focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Mikon's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikon, are you okay? Yeah! Looks like you finally noticed. Yeah, please don't surprise me, I almost got wet. Wet? Uh, did you come by to check on Nagito? I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um, I hope I'm not mistaken. That'd be really embarrassing. Are you, by chance, worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. I... Oh. I know? Yes, what? You're falling asleep. Oh. Uh. I hope she understood what I said. If she's working so hard, it'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt. So I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. To be fair, Rhino's characters aren't really present right now. Yo, how's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mikon than Nagito. She looks like she's had no time to rest. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? As I expected, wrapped it up quickly. But they had nothing new to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So on both our ends, looks like we had no results. Ah well. Let's look forward to tomorrow. With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. <sighs> My worries have piled so high that one side just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. But not just that. First thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital again. I kept telling myself that as I sighed one last time, and slowly closed my eyes. Rhino, you're not the one to sleep! Uh, what? Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. For the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time, hazily like watercolor paint suspended in water, slowly, hazily. Like watercolor paint suspended in water. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before. It was filled with super hot enemies. Super hot. I super don't hot. know where. 
Soup. Oh. I can hear voices. Soup. Oh. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't that amazing? Apparently, he's been accepted in the Hope's Peak Academy. Soup. Oh. Was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm dully staring out the window, pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Oh, you don't know? Eh, know what? Apparently you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope's Peak Academy. But it's an academy that only recruits exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run to the place I deserve to be. Not here. To the place where I could be more confident. Wow, I never knew that way was possible. So he's the same too? Obviously. I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope Speak Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who could be found anywhere. Well, admiring the Academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just... I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this, anyway? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? I think my theory from last session is holding up. Oh! Monokuma oh, Theater! Did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So, I'm going to tell you my story of personal failure. In the wild world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. If my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written with special ink. Only those chosen by God can see it. <laughs> when I said that, he was all, That love letter is brimming with passion. So in other words, it's a case of the Emperor's new clothes. Yeah. However, things started looking bad at that point. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he could really read the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually, he was worshipped by society. Now, he uses his followers to show shady races for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful! What an epic fail! That was my story of personal failure. What did you think of it? Is the eyes broken? Did you listen to me? Wanna buy this face? It's in pretty high demand, but I'll give you a deal on it because I like you so much. Who are you, Tom Look? Tom Nokokuma. Hmm. Tom Nokuma. It's morning, huh? But for some reason, my body's heavy. Oh, no. No, not just heavy. It's uh. somewhat soft and really hot. Wait a minute. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Stop, you're tickling me. Econ again. Look at his hair. <laughs> Look at his hair. It's not, it's not even straight. It's like. Confused <laughs> hair boner. <laughs> ah, the return of the Y boner. You stop moving. I can finally relax and sleep. Wait, huh? Yeah, cyanosis again! I will wall. Hajime's got lamp lamp. Please get hold of yourself! Hit him with a monokuma. Mm. Hit him with some kuma. He regained consciousness. Oh, I'm so glad. I thought you died from suffocation. Nikon, why are you? Why are you here? The monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet. Uh, now that you mention it, uh, I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. What kind of accident is that? Good news. You see. Nagito's condition is stabilized. Really? And 
I rushed over to let you guys know that Fugigo's room was locked, so... Oh, yeah, my lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki. Anyway, please hurry You're up! You're very welcome! Now you two can probably be saved! Yeah, got it. You got like a tiny walkie-talkie and Ibuki says, You're very welcome, sir! I quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Mikan. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up for someone like Nagito. Oh well, that's not to think about it. You gotta see your waifu, that's what you're gonna do. But Chiaki, Wait, which one's your waifu? Chiaki's not in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, are, you promised two girls in here hugs already. Doesn't mean they're waifus. So you just hug anyone then? <laughs> Okay, Buki, maybe. Uh. Oh. Well, oh, could we not spend some play yet? So I believe Abuki is still sleeping. I don't really know if that's true or not, though. Sorry, I spoke without your permission. It would be bad if we woke her up, so please check on Nagito first. Did she get to say the same thing about Akane? Um, he's stable now, but I'm still worried. Why don't you check on Nagito first? Yeah, you're right. Oh, okay. Nope. There's you think, at least. Plus, she says we walk past the door, so kind of makes sense. All right. Well, he's up. Oh. Uh... Well, that's uh. <laughs> there, I saw Nagito, who managed to sit up in his bed. Nagito, could you hear me? Hajime came by to see how you were doing. The twin Ibukis are singing. I see. Ibuki must have been a twin duo. What? The Veronicas. That's an actual band. What are you talking about? Is he supposed to be cr cured? It sounds like he's completely cured. He was just able to recover from his critical condition. They were utilizing their characteristic as twins, and they've been taking turns appearing before me. Huh? Which means there are actually 17 people on this island. I knew it! The Veronicas. That must be the answer. Hmm. After seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for just a little bit longer. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so relieved now you to regain consciousness. I'm so glad. I feel dizzy. So everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? Then if you insist, I will use the on-call room upstairs. Are her eyes alright? Yeah, they're fine now. She was she was just doing a dizzy sprite, basically. Her eyes are fine right now. Okay. You must be mentally right. exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Then, even though it's the morning, good night. Nikon wobbled around a bit, then left the room. Wait, did you forget to check her, check her temperature? She's definitely exhausted. I mean, we didn't check, but bear in mind, she's also been awake for a while. That's understandable. I and mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to come wake me up. Alone with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't oh, worry. Shit. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. Yeah, hurry up and Jesus go away. Christ, I don't want to see your face anymore. Uh, yeah, I kind of smacked myself on the side of the head, so... The morning Monokuma announcement should be starting soon. I should wait at the lobby for the transmission. Oh, I guess it's gonna force me, okay. Well, at least this means there's progress. Eh. Huh? The surveillance camera unit's light is blinking. That's weird. It's not transmission time yet. She wanna check it? Yeah! 